hey guys welcome back to my channel so bad hair days everybody has them everybody suffers from them but sometimes you just cannot afford a bad hair day so in this video i'm going to show you three simple hairstyles that are like my go-to hairstyles that i do when i have bad hair days and i have somewhere to go they're really quick and simple and you can do them in under like five minutes each so stay tuned as you can see, the first part that you always have to get done is to detangle your hair. In this video, I'm basically using uh, a bottle of uh, a spray bottle of water and my afro comb and uh, a tangle teaser. I'm not really like really clued up on how I use it, but I think it's just because the size of my tangle teaser is way too big for my hands. And yeah it, it, it kind of makes it difficult to use although i think um i believe tangle teasers are very um are very good for using them like when you detangling your hair and stuff they come very handy so yeah so above all i just want to section the hair and keep it like in in little twists like big chunky twists because you know everybody knows shrinkage is real shrinkage is like the common enemy yo at all times and the the hairstyles needs your hair to be stretched out so that like you know you get maximum you know flickiness <laughs> so yeah let's finish this last one this last twist out let's finish that as you can see like i'm really struggling <laughs> with the tangle teaser like it's so big if anyone knows of a shop that sells these tangle teasers but that like a smaller version please let me know down in the comment section i really think i need one because i cannot like my hands are like very small for this uh, so so hard the life of a tiny girl it's so difficult anyway so after twisting up all the hair like the hair stays all stretched out in a stretched out st state which is exactly what we need because like we need the hair to be stretched out that's just the reality of it all so okay i'm celebrating <laughs> so um I, i'm gonna take down the the the, um, the pieces in the front you know so that um the first hairstyle consist of a twist a flat twist at the front so i'm gonna take out the front uh the front buns and then i'm gonna split the hair in two little sections you know so i can do two flat twists it's gonna look like a crown but like a crown that's like right at the front which is very weird but anyway it's, it's gonna look cute at the end trust me just believe in me <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna section the hair into two little parts but one part is gonna be longer than the other you know you got to just add some flavor flav onto it you know so yeah i'm gonna do that part the head into two parts and then i'm gonna begin flat twisting i don't know if if you guys know how to flat twist but i i don't know i'm a visual i'm a visual learner no one taught me like just like no one taught me how to braid my hair or no one taught me how to do anything with my hair i just when i was at salons i would like watch the other people like this the 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 hairstylist style the hair i would like concentrate and watch before it was my turn i would just watch when i get home i just, i would do it like on my doll so that's basically how i learned but now i'm really staying away from salons i don't trust them much anymore Ugh, it's so it, it, i ha i've had a horrible experience when it comes to a salon anyway so um as you can see I haven't really used an oil or um or any kind of uh extra moisture because like my hair is really saturated right now but um I think I will use some a little bit later because like if your hair, when your hair dries like it, the the water dries it out a little bit so the back I'm going to let it like uh get all puffy and stuff uh, I, we just want a, a, a nice puffed up look at the back which is gonna um, overshadow the the front tw flat twist which is kind of like the whole um uh, i don't know what to call it 
it's it's gonna look like a, a mane like a, a a lion's mane <laughs> a lion's mane although my lion's mane is brown dark brownish but that's what i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna just you know finger comb through the hair because it's detangled and stuff so it's it's easier and uh the the water makes it softer and the oh the the oil that i have on my hair is basically argan oil i don't know if any of you guys know it but it's argan oil and i kind of like it but i don't really like the way it smells and i'm a very sensitive person when it comes to smells uh, but although i do have sinuses but i think i'm a kind of a sensitive person so we're gonna put like an ls band at the bag to keep the fro from getting out of control so and then i'm gonna flat twist the front so basically when you do a flat twist it's not it's not really about um it's i think it's it's just like when you do a proper braid uh every time you twist after you twist you have to just add on a little piece of hair to that twist just like when you are braiding i don't know how to do proper instructions i, I don't know how to explain but um I, I, I would do a tutorial if you guys would like to see that and then maybe basically show it to you properly in this video i'm basically just distracted because i was watching sherlock holmes i really like that movie it's so like it's, it's amazing actually I, i've watched it i think um this is like my sixth time watching it yo the movie's like boss you know it's like the king of movies no i'm, I'm just kidding i think i say that about all movies <laughs> anyway we're gonna flat twist the front and then afterwards you're gonna pin it's like okay in this video i don't pin it up because like the fro is right at the front normally uh sometimes i put the fro like i pull it back i tag the hair back so that like you can see more of the um, of the flat portion of the hair so here because the the ribbon is pretty close to the flat twist i just tuck it under the ribbon and then it joins the hair so do the flat twist and then you're gonna see the finished product next yeah i think i really like this movie so much like i keep getting distracted oh also there's like um there's like a little mirror that i'm using as you can see I'm, i keep staring at the mirror because i'm using the mirror there so as you can see this hairstyle is pretty simple and it's pretty laid back and anyone can do it like if you don't know how to braid your own hair you can ask your sister your cousin your friend your mom anyone because it's a pretty simple hairstyle and it's very quick and easy and right now i think i'm gonna add this cute bow just to make it pop just to make it pop 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 so yeah next hairstyle this one was basically simple it's just i pull my hair back and that's it i think so as i've explained earlier like after the hair dries out so like when i was shooting this film i was busy with other things so i had to do it go finish something come back do another portion go finish something else come back you know so my hair got dry so i add to just to add a little moisture like at the front you know where the focus is mainly is like on the perimeter perimeter or something i think it's perimeter so yeah i do that and then i just moisturize just a little bit and as you you saw the argan oil that's the argan oil i use it's from ors so yes i i think i trust my afro comb way too much like it's like my go-to comb i don't know let me know what your favorite comb is i'm not sure which my favorite comb is but i think my afro comb kind of comes first right now it's it's the king <laughs> it's the king because um when i'm using it it's just simpler and stuff so i'm gonna comb like the front and the sides basically just to 
get it straightened out then i'm using this uh hair putty i was looking for a curling um mousse but i couldn't find it so i was like whoa let me try this maybe it could work then i used it and it was kind of cool but it's not really what i wanted so yeah the putty is really cool you can keep it like to keep your hair slick your hairstyle like if your hairstyle uh, you want it to look like uh like you have some form of, st of styling gel on you can use it i think it's um, multitasking it's pretty sticky but it doesn't like stay on your hands long like when you're using it you could just uh, finish using the product on the hair and kind of like disappears on its own but it's a bit sticky so you have to be careful then okay this alice band is pretty it's pretty stretched out and i want it like a little bit tight so i doubled it and then i tucked it under the hair you tuck it under the hair you just 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 give it like a puff out kind of look but it's, it's simple and you can wear it to work, you can wear it at home, you can do whatever. If you want it neat, you can tuck the hair in and just keep it like, Ushai Pambata, yes, you can do that. And then it'll look a bit better, like a mushroom, like you can get a mushroom look from it if you keep it neater. So, my next hairdo. Okay, this one is kind of like my favorite right now like let's be realistic this is my favorite oh my god i think it's my favorite like first time i tried this it, it came out so beautifully and that day i didn't take pictures and i felt so sad because when i get got home i was so tired i fell asleep and i never took like pictures that day so i'm gonna detangle the front you know i'm gonna section apart from the entire head you know like a little front like a little portion at the front then that part is going to be like kind of our um what is this thing kind of like um i don't know what they call it i forgot what they call it i know what they call it but i just kind of forgot um i don't know i don't know oh my god i don't know <laughs> anyway i think um I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to subtitle it when I remember after this voice over. So as you can see, I'm trying to use the Tangle Teaser as much as I can. Because practice makes perfect. So maybe if I keep using it, I'll get used to it. But I don't know. I don't think so though. It's just too big. So okay, I put the Alice Band at the back just to pull the rest of the hair back. And to give it, you know, the the entire video is basically about puffy hairstyles nothing serious because like my hair is puffy and and stuff and you know shrinkage is real so when you do these hairstyles you have to do it really quick if you wet your hair before you comb it or whatever so i'm going to section the, the the little piece at the front into two and then i'm going to pin the first part down so uh, away from this the, the second one the bottom part I don't know if you can call it the bottom part or the top part. Uh, I'm gonna use like the normal pins. I don't know what they call them, but they they keep the they're more stable than bobby pins. Bobby pins you can use them, but um, only if you're an expert when it comes to bobby pins. I trust these more if you want stability. And then the bobby pins I'm gonna use at the top because I also want that part to be flat on the, the on, on on my head but i don't want the the pins to be visible so i use bobby pins then the style becomes a completion like i said like these styles are really simple and quick and you can use them and you can do them anytime and they're just quick and easy and they can go with a lot of outfits if you ask me they can go with a lot of outfits i'm going to use this bandana just to add a little juice and then you know just to add some flavor flavor you can use um after the alice band i normally put like a bandana or like a ribbon that has like flowers or something depending on what i'm wearing you know so just to give it like a little edge or something just to keep it you know proper and cute and so yeah 
yeah look at that that is good thanks to you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and goodbye i'll see you guys next time and i i just don't forget to subscribe just don't forget to subscribe bye